so we, you know, we heard of the climbing challenge, of course, climbing age in pitches, but no one's tried that with a highline yet. 21 highlines, 24 hours, seems possible. So, we started on a Friday uh, evening, met in Sydney, drove down to the first spot. We were on the way, found an epic dumpster full of bananas and avocados. Crashed that night and woke up at about 8 in the morning. Had some brekkie, packed some gear, walked into the spot. Time is ready, 9.15. Time starts. over we start preparing the anchor and suddenly like the wind picks up before that it was a little bit windy but not too crazy but right rigging the, the wind was like <laughs> crazy so I mean we managed to get the, the line the 20 the first 26 rigged 26 meter yeah and um, but it was shaking in the wind like crazy it was good that it was only that like short quickly jumped over walked it each yeah, Axel got the walk easy. It took me at least three whippers to, to get across it. It was so windy. And then we were just both on different sides shouting to each other through the wind and after like shouting five words we both knew we were gonna pack up and go to another spot. And then we ended up at Circus, yeah, which was really cool. We just rigged some small lines, slung like big boulders, walked it across, changed the anchor, walked it across, and had a couple of really cool lines. Yeah, we realised that we may as well make use of the sunlight and go to the next spot. walking the last line just as we lost all light. Yeah, beautiful view again. Oh, yeah, these two lines are really nice. Yes. Oh yeah. yeah, then we came to Mount Kira, where we actually had to walk a little bit in. We thought we could park closer, but they closed already the gate. Yeah, that was the first line we started to like slow down yeah. and actually relax a bit. That, that went down really easily. Short line, only about 15 meters long, called Hours of Operation. Pretty apt name, I think. I've never been there before, yeah. and these two lines were like just perfectly lying there. Just rocked up to the car park, and there's about 50 other cars there. <laughs> Everyone on a Saturday night just getting drunk and enjoying the view, <laughs> <laughs> and just pack up the bags and walk 20 meters away from everyone, and there's perfect anchors right there. <laughs> Jumped in the car, drove up the coast, and got to the Seacliff Bridge. Oh, the Seacliff Bridge. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we got to the Seacliff Bridge at midnight. There were actually still quite a lot of cars driving by and we uh, tried to hide from these cars by yeah. crouching down next to the railing. So that had a lot of time with rigging. It was cold, it was super exposed, I was tired and exhausted and somehow I didn't feel it. Uh, but it just didn't work in the end and I didn't walk both of these lines. starting to get tired, starting to crash. Yeah, we were really tired at that point. Climbing up on the I-beams and like... Rigging it, trying yeah, to concentrate that you don't do any mistake. Yeah, and like sit starts and just getting into position on the line used a lot of energy. Then we came from that one point where we just rushed everything and had so much fun and we ended up 
two more hours than expected on the bridge. Yeah. Just like we thought it'd be real fast rig, but that, that just took double the time we thought it would. When we were getting out of there, the sun was starting to rise. And it was so smash back. We are 20 hours 33 minutes in. It's starting to get bright, and we're driving to our last spot. Chris got three lines to go. I got five lines to go. It's gonna be interesting how it's gonna turn out. So we drove to the other spot, parked our car there, and had a 20 minute power nap. Got Bang. up, I've been walking in. Two hours, 40 minutes left to do at least three lines. That was my 21st line. And then he was finished. finished. You know, he was so yeah. happy that, oh man. Yeah. And I still had two lines to go. Mate, fucking mm. oh, mate. 